Tony, can you talk a little bit? I know Coach even mentioned it. A lot of people make a lot to do about your offense. But can you talk about the defense, especially maybe like that last 10 minutes against Moody Story and Battery pretty much shut them down? Talk about how your defense is well, uh, I, I emphasize that defense wins games, so just try to do the best as I can to play good on defensive side, try to use my length to disturb the, the opponent. Tony, when Coach put uh, Cameron into the starting lineup, did you think that changed your guys' offense? It definitely changed because the two bigs work together down the post, and it's a threat to, to the uh, opposing team because they, they got to stop both the bigs. So they are just trying to work that way. We work inside out for the, for uh, our offense. Tony, with uh, with the championship, regular season championship in hand, and the NCAA tournament coming up, how difficult is it for you guys to focus on this tournament? Well, it's definitely difficult. You know, uh, we we expect a lot from each other, so we just just got to stay confident and, and just believe that we can try to get the championship and make it far. Well, just going out there and finish where we started. You know, the beginning of the season, we said we was going to make it this far, and we just got to finish where we started. Is, is there a confidence that wasn't there last year of being your player? Do you guys just a lot more confident than you were? Yeah, we're a lot more confident now since we uh, have regular season uh, champions. So we feel really confident that we can, we can uh, be tournament champions again and, and make it far to the NCAA. Just my demeanor. Just my demeanor to to get a to get a championship. That's all. Just just trying to finish what I started. Trying to finish strong. What, what you guys after Saturday? Obviously offensively, you guys played great. Um, bus ride long, bus ride home, mostly sleeping. I'm sure. But what were you guys feeling like after that game and maybe the drive home? It was kind of exhausting because you know. We, we, we played a lot through these games. It's, it's all about rest now, but, you know, we got to get back after it. You guys obviously worked. You guys wanted to win, but you didn't have to for the seeding for the tournament. You didn't have to for a conference, for a regular season championship. Um, did, did the loss feel any different than, say, when you lost at UNLV or San Diego State earlier in the season? Yeah, the loss felt different because we, we felt that um, – we 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 did had a good job. We did it. We fought hard out there because that's definitely a hard place to play at. It's definitely a senior night, and we we knew this gonna, this was gonna give us our best shot. So we we didn't feel disappointed at all. Feel pretty confident then heading into the tournament. Definitely, yeah. Which do you guys uh, view as being more important, regular season championship or the round one or the uh, tournament? Both. You know, any any type of championship is great for us. Uh, a little bit. Make a difference a little bit. Are you more familiar with what they might do against Have no idea. Just, just go out there. Yeah, we 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 know that we played them before, and we just trying to get used to. Uh, we we already know what to expect from them, so we just got to be ready and get prepared. Uh, mindset's just continue what we've been doing all year, playing together, playing hard defensively, and uh, you know, uh, just winning at all, at all possible possible ways. However, we can do it, just um, go out there and compete. This is your third year, obviously here. This year, Coach Alford um, has it been any different with the coaching staff with Coach Alford um, for either you personally or just as a team? Um, I wouldn't say necessarily me personally. Uh, you know, I've had a great relationship since I've been here and uh, been consistent with, um, you know, what his expectations of me and, you know, what I'm supposed to be doing for the team. And, uh, you know, as a team, I think this is probably the closest uh, we've been. And I've been on three good teams, um, uh, but collectively uh, on the basketball court and off is the closest, uh, you know, the team's been. So I think that really shows uh, in our play. His, the winning obviously is a big part of it, but he seems to be enjoying this Do you get the sense that he's enjoying this a little more than before? Or? 
I mean, I think we're all enjoying it a little more this year, uh, just for the fact that uh, you know we weren't necessarily picked to to win it, or even in the hunt for that matter. So um, it's nice to always um, prove the naysayers wrong. You know, at the end of the day, uh, we came together as a group um, and knew what we had in our locker room the whole year, and now it's just a matter of uh, we prove. We probably won a big point, and we just need to go into Vegas and into the big dance and uh, continue to do what we've been doing. Kendall, uh, Chris says that uh, players in year two come from, from their wins. Was that, was that something you discovered? Um, yeah, well, I think that's a big, uh, big reason. Um, you know, uh, player of the year is the most important player to the team, and the most important team is the team that's won the most games. So, um, in terms of our own locker room, it could have been anyone. It could have been Tony. It could have been Alex. Um, but it's nice to, you know, have that, that accolade. Uh, but it definitely should have been in our locker room just for the fact that I think we were the most consistent team throughout the year. Um, I think it just allowed me um, more range to to show pass my passing abilities a little more, and um, it gave me a chance to uh, you know strengthen some of my other areas where I didn't have quite the the heavy load um, in terms of making all the plays. I could just feed it into the big fellas, and they play so well together. I can I can focus my attention on other areas. So the two big systems been really strong for us, and it's just a matter of me now finding my niche within that and uh, and providing all I can. Oh yeah, it's the uh, best defensive team I've played on. Um, last year we, were, you know, we had a great year and all that, but uh, I think just how we can guard everyone with our versatility on the defensive end is going to allow us to, um, you know, match up well against pretty much anyone in the tournament. You know, how do you approach three games in four days? Um, just like you do, uh, you know, any other tournament we've been in, kind of like the paradise how we were earlier and. And you use it as kind of a, a, a prep for the big the big dance. You have two games in a short uh, span until rest. So it's just three. And um, like I said, you got to win at any cost. Uh, bumps or bruises are going to happen probably within the first uh, TV timeout of the first game. But you just got to keep fighting and, uh, and, and get the wins. Last one. Kendall, with this tournament sandwiched in between the regular season championship and the NCAA coming up, how tough is it to stay focused and knowing that well, you know, what happened with the last game, um, just the unfortunate fact that, you know, they hit one more shot than us. We need to do as good as we can in Vegas to get the seed that we think we deserve and should get for the for the big dance. So, you know, it's a major uh, it's a focal point for us to go in there and, you know, compete and look as good as we can and hopefully, you know, win it so we can get the seed in the in the in the dance that we need. Um, a good seed. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, I just feel like there's a lot left to, uh, you know, a lot left on the table. Uh, we had a good year last year, and um, I think there's a lot left there, and we're just trying to keep, continue that. And uh, just as good a team, if not better, like I said, our camaraderie is real close. So um, it's been a great year so far, but there's a lot of work to be done. I think uh, our best basketball is still yet to be shown.